Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now, before the video begins, this video is proudly partnered with Apex Gaming PCs. So we've been with Apex now for quite a while. Uh, a bunch of you have always, you know, bought PCs. I get the emails whenever you do a, an order, and thank you very much if you have done that. But if you are in the market for a new desktop, potentially even a laptop, uh, please do check out Apex using the a link down below. And the cool thing is my code, Huzzy, is actually for a festive period, potentially going to be up to 15% off. So feel free to check it out. Use the code. And obviously clicking the link down below will bring you to my landing page. You don't have to get a Huzzy partnered PC. I believe if you do click the link down below and get a different PC, I think I'll still get kind of credit for it. But these are the PCs that kind of I have had a bit of a nod to, a bit of a say about, um, as they're roughly designed off what my PC is, is, is my, my custom one from Apex. These are kind of offshoots from that. So that's why they're AMD-based uh, CPU PCs, the same as mine. Um, and yeah, if you're in the market, please check it out. All of them are customizable. If you click that button, you can change different things about them. Uh, finance is available. Obviously, they are an American-based company, but they do ship internationally. Obviously, I'm technically an international customer myself. Um, and yeah, they do laptops. They do 50% refurbished PCs. I actually had a, a, an audience member the other day talk to me about that. And uh, they had a kind of a smaller budget, a bit below the diamond, you know, our starting PC. And they, I think, found a pretty reasonable PC in their budget in the 50% section. All of that stuff is fully warranted, and they replace any parts that didn't pass any tests. They also have holiday bundles, by the way, now. So feel free to check it out. Use the code HUZZY at, 50, uh, at checkout for 15%, up to 15% off over the festive season. Um, and just to mention, two things I always do, just in case this is your first time ever here, and you're like, oh, I'm going to buy, buy a PC. As I said, they're an American-based company which means the power cable that arrives with your PC will be an American power cable. But all you need to do is buy the standard power supply to your wall cable. That's usually like five bucks on Amazon, and then you'll be all good. And then secondly, Apex does not believe in bloatware. So when the PC arrives, it will boot to Windows. Boom, you're on Windows when you turn it on. But that's about it. So you'll need to install all the Windows updates. You'll also need to install all the drivers to your PC, including, and a very important one, your graphics driver, your GPU driver. Most of the PCs that are offered obviously come with NVIDIA graphics cards. So all you need to do is just download NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It'll automatically detect your card and automatically give you the right driver. Because I have had an audience member kind of go, oh, the PC's good, but it's just not getting me the FPS that I was expecting. And it's like, did you install the driver? And they're like, no. And the moment they did that, oh my God, the performance is great. So make sure you go through all of that stuff. And um, obviously it's worth the time. Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. If you do enjoy the content, please do throw a like on the video. It does help out. Comment down below. How are you doing? Uh, and please subscribe. You know, I'd like the channel to start growing again, hopefully in the near future. And subscribing is a good way to do that, to make sure you're getting all the videos. So that's going to be it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Enjoy the video. Goodbye. Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to a Nuzlocke challenge. And yes, I'm playing Ash support. There is a reason why I'm playing Ash support. And it's the toxic Twitch player's fault. So, what happened in Champ Select was our mid laner hovered Ash to play Ash mid. Yes, I wouldn't normally want Ash mid, but they did it. And then the Twitch player was like, no, 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 let me play Ash. I'm a one trick. Turns out they're not. They lied. But, basically, they hovered Ash to try and make it that our mid laner didn't play it. And then our mid laner didn't because he left Ash for this guy who said he was a one trick. And be, I will say, out of spite, I'm like, well, I'll play Ash support. Because then he was all moaning of like going, oh, don't, no, don't play Ash now. Like, blah, blah, blah. It's like, nope, I'm now playing it. They think me cold. I have seen and the Twitch seemed very toxic, unsurprisingly. And that is one of the big negatives of no, obviously, summoners in thingy anymore. Someone can't blag and lie going, oh, I'm a one trick Ash. You just look up their profile. It's like, no, you're not. Minions has spawned. Hopefully the Ezreal's mental is not dead, dead, though. Yeah, it's, it's just a toxic player on Twitch. There's some type of smurf. They play Kaiser quite a lot. So yeah, I didn't really want to play Ash support, but there are certain principles in life 
you've got to live by. And putting a toxic Twitch player in their place is one of them. Why would you do that? That was a weird decision. It's not gone bad, technically. I was born into poverty. <sighs> are. 100 biddies from a cross author says, Amen to those principles. Great job. Whoa, whoa, hi. I just died in your arms tonight. Must have been something you said. Could have walked away. Yeah, I'm hoping the Ezreal does well. And I don't know why the guy wanted to play Ash or Ezreal mid, but it is preseason and it is more about a bit of experimentation. Let's go, bud. Yeah. That's what we want, baby. Also, does anybody... I'm going to be honest. I'm a big movie person. I think everybody knows this. Oh, good job, Twitch. I really, 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 really don't care about Avatar 2. Does anybody actually care? Like, the only reason Avatar 1 was any good because it was ahead of its time technology-wise. <laughs> Shame I died to the tick, but damn, that was good. But yeah, like, it was only good because it was ahead of technology-wise. It's not going to be ahead technology-wise anymore, so I don't really care. Oh, baby, a double. So for those that missed it, by the way, um, part of the Nuzlocke challenge and series, obviously, if you lose a game, you lose the champion. But if you get a pentakill, you can decide which champion comes back to life because pentas obviously are very rare. We got a penta last game, so Gangplank is back from the dead. I panic leveled another Q, by the way, for those that are wondering. It is a continuation of the story. Uh! Oh, this Twitch is literally useless. It's always the toxic players that are the worst League of Legends players. I'm dead. God, he's doing nothing. Uh, normally when you're in a 2v1, it's a 2v1. Like, why is he pinging my items? I'm literally playing out. Like, what is wrong with you? I got a double kill by myself. No fate is written except by us. Jesus. You didn't think the avatar was that good? I mean, it's a very generic story. But it's just the technology back, what was it, 2009, I want to say? It was so ahead of its time. My people know only cold and hardship. I will teach them peace. It's a Pocahontas reimagine. Kinda, yeah. What? This Twitch, man. This is good. I'm just gonna go live. You can get the kills. Sweet! Very nice. Because I remember I didn't go to the cinema for it from memory. I 
Sky always has like a big movie on Christmas for premiere and that year I think it was that year or was it the year after no it must have been that year they had Avatar for the Christmas premiere so me and my family watched it on Christmas this one is like I think it's called Avatar 2 maybe the way of water so they, they go their water mode X was dead That's alright. I'll, I'll, I'll eventually watch it. I'm just not going to pay to watch it. Kind of, well, I don't, I'm, when it comes to home cinema, I might pay for it. Because I'll be honest, my favourite film of this year... Probably... Probably was Top Gun Maverick. It was genuinely a really good film. And they're rare. Nowadays, like films, all films really, like, oh, we've got to be part of a bigger universe. It's like, technically, yes, it's a number two, but the other film was 30 odd years ago, whatever it was. There's probably not going to be another one. It was a good film, whether you watch Top Gear 1, Top Gear, Top Gun 1 or not. It was just good. I missed. Hey! Oh no. Twitch, you're so bad! He is so bad! Oh my god, he is very bad at the game. It's always the toxic ones. It's always the toxic ones. He's half farm. Maybe he would have been better off actually playing Ash. I think Twitch is too hard for him. Dude, what? Brand, you need to calm it down. That was a little bit ambitious, one would say. Hey, field worker. My god. Still not level six. Oh. Ren's just gonna hold. All right, you got a kill. That brand is playing quite poorly. He's playing so aggressive when he doesn't need to play that aggressive. Ooh. Is that a Jax player again or no? 12 games of Jax, dead even win rate versus 113 games of Akali. I think Akali is very strong at the moment, by the way. Well, she always has been. the hell is Ash going on about? Back. Unstoppable. He walked into it! Oh my god, he walked into it! Okay, I will hit an arrow. Like, trust me, just keep watching. Uh oh. Are you serious? Yeah, you just got yourself kit away, Ezra. Ooh, Lev. Oh. Well. Oh, is he rushing Ravenous as well? Of course they are. What does the Twitch normally play? It's a tw it's an AD carry main, but it's probably just a player that's got themselves in a bit of a tiz because they're really they're like a toxic player. That's not worth at all. Like, oh my god. Oi, oi, oi. And why wouldn't he? He might have even been able to fight her there because she didn't have ult. Oh. 
He's just altered. Mal's passive. So both AD carries have just wasted their ult on the wave. Weird. Yeah, the arrow, the arrow did hit. Technically. cooldown of it is low and i haven't even got like the items to make it really really low yet crazy I need to stop doing the random ones. Our Nocturne is 6 and 0, but it kind of feels like we have no jungle pressure. Weird. I need to go arrow up again. Which can't play with players like this, man. Has he just noticed? Maybe this guy bought the account because, like, it's a, it, the, the account's a Smurf account. But wow. Something's a bit weird with the player. the brand so the mouse is really struggling imagine if this player played the champion that they actually they wanted to play ash mid remember i am nice glory i wish to recapture it is our people's Oh my god! Why is Akali here? What the hell? Why? Wait, what? Ravenous Hydra... Ravenous Hydra of Akali now. Oh. The item is so obscenely broken, even an Akali is rushing it. Oh my god, this Twitch. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. What a weird game. Hey, Gein, how's it going? Four months tier one says, been a while, but glad to still be a part of this community. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Did Miss Fortune just hold the wave again? What is going on? Our Twitch is like, bought his account. The Misfortune is... Prowler's Claw Misfortune. What? Hey, Winfang. I am very confused. I did it. We hit one. No. <laughs> no assist. I assist. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, who support Ash? I know, but there's a reason we did it. It was, it was because of this toxic Twitch. We did it for a good reason, trust me. See you later, Shryrock, so have a good day. Swiftly now.
Got your first tattoo yesterday. Oh, what'd you get? Smash your headie. I know, I don't doubt that Akali is... I, I bet she is good with Hydra. It also just makes you realize how strong the item truly is. Which is just a little bit silly. Good ult there, Twitch. Oh my god, that is Ooh, god. Oh god. Both AD carries on in this game are uh, not having, let's say, the best of game. An armband inspired by the Ouroboros and Fullmetal Alchemist. Oh, very nice. I hit him. Dragon's the problem because we're going to be three dragons down. No, Shikali can kill him for free, pretty much. Lead our way. I hold a bow of true eyes. I hold my heart. Can you build Ravenous and Doxy at the same time? Yeah, you should be able to. Didn't need a flash, did I? Oh, that's annoying. I thought they were going to continue, but they backed off instantly. Wait, do she builds heart steel? Oh, you think she'll build heart steel? Because remember, Akali's got broken base damage. Her base damage does over 2,000 damage without a single item, so. She will kill most champions in League without buying any items. Twitch is so clueless. My tribe will bring peace. The Ezreal's done well this game. And I'd imagine the Ezreal himself was probably annoyed at the Twitch and a bit tilted because of what happened. Nice. So the fact that Ezreal's one lane and has done pretty good is a testament to he is playing well. Could we sneaky Baron? You're very fed, bud. Could have used that and then come here, no? Ooh. Who is Brand? Is just trolling. What the hell? He's died 11 times. Hey, Nichiko! Hey, Nichiko! Uh, tier 3, 44 months, says, hello, hello, just dropped by this sub, uh, for this sub. I'm super busy today. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day, Nichiko. Thank you very much for dropping by. Thank you for being one of our tier 3 subs. Again, we don't have too many tier 3s, so massive appreciate. Hope life is treating you well. Oh, did you see that Prowler's Claw? Oh, damn. Yes! Which DPS, man! Yeah, I'm taking that. You suck. He's going to flash. 
Dude, this brand. I might, I might be. I'm dead. His dot damage with ignite. But Jesus, brand does not care if he dies or not. He's given us way too much gold this game. And we had the troll. Enemy team didn't have the troll. But look at him. This. Oh my god. Again, the YouTube audience, you guys don't obviously have the absolute full. Like, I'm, I don't even know if I've explained it too well of actually what happened. But, like, trust me, what the Twitch did was really scumbag. I just don't know if I've explained it amazingly well. So you can just kind of randomly fire some arrows off because it's on a 36 second cooldown. Ezreal's items, he's just doing like the damage Ezreal. Pretty standard. <laughs> Made him run away. <laughs> hey, Ace, how's it going, man? This hurts. We need to fight for this dragon. I'm gonna fire an arrow down mid just to see if it does anything. Why would you go next to him like that? Oh, I hit, I hit Misfortune. I don't understand why the Twitch went so close to him. He didn't need to. He just put himself in unnecessary risk. There you go, Ricky. Power nap, they call that. There we go, Jax is... Like, again, Misfortune's build is dreadful. Remember, just reminding everybody, Misfortune scales off crit nowadays, so... The fact that she's done lethality but then built something like a Prowlers is just bizarre. I actually had a nap. There's a, a really nice photo actually of um, me, Maya and Queen Pleb all having a nap on a sofa together in like a puppy pile. Queen Pleb's mum took it. And it's actually a really nice photo. Hilariously, the only photos that we've actually had printed and like put in frames so far of, of moving in are pictures of Maya. We need to we need to do a couple more. We've got a, a couple of us like when we were in Italy on holiday and stuff like that. So we, we need to do it. We just haven't just haven't. Oh, just as an update, by the way, um, office tour. I'm going to be hanging up some artwork in the office potentially tomorrow after the stream and uh we're getting closer to actually doing the office tour video so look out for that you'll obviously get to see my setup that i'm rocking and obviously any product that i use to do this as my job and helps me i will probably very quickly talk about each product very quickly um obviously i'm not hiding it it's kind of why a big part of an office tool for a content creator is kind of going hey look these are the products i use from my partners if, if and i explain them a bit and if you like the idea of them you'll be able to order them So we've actually had a pretty good game as Ash support, by the way. Without basically having a lane phase as well. Oh. 
Like he's altered he altered the minion wave again, everybody. What is uh... Got more accurate as the game went on with the arrows. Yeah, we basically didn't have a Twitch this game. Like, he was really bad. So, well done to the Ezreal. Because, again, he wanted to play Ash mid. Again, I, I wouldn't want... You know, I don't want Ash mid. But it's the principle of he lied and said he was a one-trick. Don't pick Ash mid. Let me do it. And then didn't pick it himself. He's just a bit of a scumbag person. So, well done to the Ezreal. He did great. He won lane. Well done to him. And that, by the way, is semi-donated. I will say semi-donated from Loon Call because I think Loon Call wanted me to play Ash. I just don't know if Loon Call wanted me to play support Ash or not. All right, plus nineteen. Yeah, look at look at. So anyone doubting how bad that Twitch was? Yeah, he did nine thousand damage. I did fifteen seven. He like he's the lowest damage in the game. He had no idea what was going on. So very very odd. Uh, Brand was kind of running it as well, to be fair. Um, and the Mal's had a bad game. But yeah, well played to the Ezreal, you know. Annoying game to start with, but he recovered it and did well. Obviously, the Nocturne had a great game too, but yeah. Not bad. So, Ash lives another day. Normally would never want to play Ash support, but out of the principle of putting the Twitch a bit in his place, that's what we did. So anyway, that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it, throw a comment and subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace, restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime, I know how to unleash eternal peace.